Hello everyone, my name is Zhang Weijia and I'm from University of Science and Technology of China. Today, I'm glad to give a little talk about our work, Intelligent Electric Vehicle Charging Recommendation based on Multi-Agent Refreshment Learning. Here is the outline, and I will introduce our work mainly from these four parts. Due to the low carbon emission and energy efficiency, electric vehicles are emerging as a favorable choice in the motor transportation system to meet the increasing environmental concerns and energy insufficiency. In 2018, there are over 2.61 million EVs on the road in China, and this number will reach 80 million in 2030. Although the government is expanding the publicly accessible charging network to fulfill the explosively growing on-demand charging requirements, it's still difficult for EV drivers to charge their vehicles because of the fully occupied stations and the long waiting time. Therefore, it's appealing to provide intelligent charging station recommendations to improve the EV driver's charging experience from various aspects, such as minimize the charging wait time, reduce the charging price, as well as optimize the charging fill rate. And the figure one shows an illustration of EV charging recommendation task. Different from traditional recommendation tasks, First, the number of charging spots in a target geographical area may be limited, which may induce potential resource competition between EVs. Second, depending on the battery capacity and charging power, the battery recharging process may block the charging spot for several hours. As a result, the current recommendations may influence future EV charging recommendations and produce a long-term effect on the global charging network. Previous studies for charging recommendations are mainly the grid-based strategies by suggesting the most proper station for the current EV driver in each step and considering a single objective, for example, minimizing the overall charge with time. However, such an approach overlooks the long-term contradiction between the space-constrained charging capacity and the spatial temporally un unbalanced charging demands, which leads to suboptimal recommendations from a global perspective. A little of works introduced reinforcement learning for charging recommendations by regarding EV as agent to optimize a long-term goal. However, in our charging recommendation task, most charging requests are ad hoc and from non-repetitive drivers, which renders previous methods impossible to learn a dedicated policy for each individual EV. But indeed, with the help of reinforcement learning, we can improve charging recommendation tasks with long-term multiple goals. Before introducing the details of our method, we first give some preliminaries about the important definitions of our task. Here are showing some preliminary definitions, and our problem is to recommend each charging request to the most proper charging station with the long-term goals of simultaneously minimizing the overall charge wait time, average charging price, and the charging fill rate for the charging requests who accept our recommendation. Now we present our solution for EV charging recommendation task. We first present our multi-agent reinforcement learning formulation for the EV charging recommendation task. Directly learning a centralized agent system across the city requires handling large state and action space and high dimensional environment, which will induce severe scalability and efficiency issues. 
To this end, we regard each charging station as an individual agent. Each agent will make timely recommendation decisions for a sequence of charging requests that keep coming throughout a day. We define the observation of each agent CI as a combination of these factors. The action of each agent is defined as a scalar bid value for a charging request and the charging request will be recommended to the agent with the highest big value. For each agent CI, its observation transition is defined as the transition from the current charging request QT to the next charging request QT plus J after QT is finished. We also propose a lazy reward settlement schema and integrate three goals into two natural reward functions, which are shown in the first equation. Furthermore, we calculate the cumulative discounted reward by summing the rewards of all recommended charging requests, whose finished time is between the arising time of QT and QT plus J. Next, we will introduce our centralized training, decentralized execution framework. We first introduce our centralized training process to motivate the agents to make recommendations cooperatively. We devise the multi-agent actor critic framework with a centralized attentive critic for deterministic policies learning. In practice, the EVs tend to go to nearby stations for charging. Based on this fact, Given a charging request QT, we only activate the agent's nearby QT to take actions and participate in the recommendation. In this way, only a small number of active agents are involved to learn cooperation for better recommendations. However, one intermediate problem is that the active agents of different QT are usually different. To this end, we propose to use the attention mechanism, which is permutation invariant, to integrate information of the active agents. The attention mechanism automatically codifies the influence of each active agent, and we derive the attentive representation of all active agents. Then the actor policy of each active agent can be updated by the gradient of the expected return following the chain rule, and the centralized attentive critic is updated by minimizing the MSE loss. The competition comes from the temporally distributed charging requests for the limited charging resource. As illustrated in Figure 4, the last available charging spot is preoccupied by a future EV leading to extra charging wait time for current EV. However, it's hard to quantify the influence of such future charging requests in advance. In this work, we further extend the centralized attentive critic with a delayed assess strategy to harness the future charging competition information so as to enable the agent's learning policies with future knowledge in hindsight. The key idea of delayed assess strategy is that for a charging request QT, without changing the execution process, we postpone the assess of transition tuples until the future charging competition information in transition with respect to QT is fully available. Then we extract the accurate number of available charging spots of charging station at every future day minutes to reflect the future potential charging computation for QT. More details can be found in the paper. In the centralized training phase, each agent updates its policy by the gradients propagated back from the centralized attentive critic. As the centralized attentive critic perceives more complete information of all active agents, it can motivate the agents to look policies in a coordinated and cooperative way. The execution process is fully decentralized by only invoking the learned actor policy with its own observation. Specifically, for a charging request, each active agent takes action based on its observation. 
and this charging request will be recommended to the active agent with the highest action. The execution of each agent is lightweight and doesn't require future charging computation information. More importantly, the large-scale agent system is fault-tolerant. Even part of agents are failing. Our goal is to simultaneously minimize multiple objectives. However, as shown in Figure 5, the distribution of different objectives can be very different. Moreover, the optimal solution of different objectives may be divergent. For example, a cheaper charging station may be very popular and lead a longer charging wait time. To this end, we develop a dynamic gradient reweighting strategy to self-adjust the optimization direction to adapt to different training stages and enforce the policy to perform well on multiple objectives. Specifically, we extend the centralized attentive critic to multi-critics, where each critic is corresponding to a particular objective. To quantify the convergence degree of different objectives, we further define two objective-specific optimal policies and their corresponding centralized attentive critics with respect to two reward functions. Then we quantify the gap ratio between multiple objective policy and objective-specific optimal policy by the second equation. Thus, we derive dynamic update weights to adaptively adjust the step size of the two objectives, which is learned by the Boltzmann softmax function. With the above two critics and adaptive update weights, the goal of each active agent is to learn an act policy to maximize the return. Now that for the consideration of scalability, we share the parameters of actor and critic networks by all agents. Next, we discuss part of our experimental results. The four experiments can be seen in the paper. We evaluate master on two real-world data sites, Beijing and Shanghai, which are collected from Baidu Maps API. All real-world data are loaded into an EV charger recommendation simulator for simulation. More details about the simulator design can be found in the paper. The statistics of two data sets are summarized in Table 1. The spatial distribution of charging stations on Beijing data set is shown in Figure 6. Here, we define four metrics to evaluate algorithm's performance. We compare master with nine baselines, which can be classified into grade-based methods, centralized reinforcement learning methods, and multi-agent reinforcement learning methods. Here is the overall performance of all algorithms. As you can be seen, overall master achieves the most comprehensive performance among all the baselines and the multi-agent reinforcement learning methods outperform centralized reinforcement learning methods. Next, we conduct ablation studies to evaluate the effectiveness of master's component. From the ablation results, we can find the removing centralized attentive critic or charging computation information have a greater impact on main charge wait time, and the removing Multi-critic architecture has a large performance degradation on mean charging price and the total saving fee. Furthermore, we studied the effect of our multi-objective optimization method by comparing the convergence of master between the static and our adaptive strategy. We found the static method usually suffers from a synchronous convergence. Well, adaptive method with dynamic gradient reweighting strategy weakens such a synchronism. That's all for my talk. Thank you for listening.